About two years ago, I made my first game ever for a beginner programming class, and it was, it was very bad. But in the two years since then, I've made many more games, and I've improved as a game developer and programmer a lot. And in this video, I'm going to take you through my journey of becoming a game developer. Let's get into it. After making my very first terrible game, I decided I wanted to take game development to the next level and start learning how to use a game engine, Unity. Now, why Unity? Well, it's very beginner friendly and primarily uses C Sharp, which is very similar to Java. Now, the issue with downloading Unity and making a game is that I don't know how to make a game. So I desperately used Google and followed a tutorial online by CodeMonkey. Even though I felt like I wasn't learning anything and was just following along with them, it was a good base for my knowledge in game development. After securing a bit of knowledge about game development, I started really getting into watching game dev YouTubers like Bargy, Dev Banana, and... So I decided that I wanted to make a channel of my own, which is Zenduck Apps. Ugh. Speaking of Zenduck Apps, did you know that only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed? So if you could smash that subscribe button, it would really help me out and I would really appreciate it. When I first started my YouTube channel, I started getting into AI warehouse videos. And I was like, Aha, I can do that. Easy peasy. So I started recreating some basic games and tried to have artificial intelligence go through the game. You might be wondering, what game is this? It's Celeste. You might now be wondering, why doesn't it look like Celeste at all? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't try to make it look more similar, but the AI did beat the first three levels, which is pretty cool. Almost immediately after that, I was like, Yeah, AI is boring now. I'm going to make a mobile game. And then I spent what felt like forever watching tutorials until I did make a mobile game, named Pillar Hop. The only goal is to bounce the ball from pillar to pillar, gaining score, but the pillars are shrinking every shot. So yeah, I went from this horrible Celeste knockoff to this fully complete mobile game in just a few months. To this day, Pillar Hop is one of my favorite games I've ever made, and I often still play it for fun sometimes. This game had a lot of impressive mechanics that I'm surprised I was able to add, like achievements, unlockable skins, and watchable ads. Overall, I'm very happy with this game. After releasing the Pillar Hop series, I started a new series on the channel called Let's Build It, where I would try to take popular games and rebuild parts of it by myself. To kick the series off, I started with remaking Cookie Clicker in only 48 hours. This is the first time I've ever given myself a time challenge to work on something, so the result definitely wasn't perfect, but I think I made a pretty good cookie clicker within only two days. After remaking Cookie Clicker, a Nintendo game released in stores that you might have heard of, called Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I was instantly hooked with the game, mostly because of my love of the original, and decided that I wanted to remake each of the four runes in a small game in Unity. So here is Ascend, Ultra Hand, Fuse, and Recall. Even though the visuals look like crap and the runes barely work, I was able to recreate the base mechanics from the game, which is cool to me. I then made a Mario Party minigame, but for some reason replaced the main character with a man made out of banana. Yeah, there isn't really anything much to say about this video, other than it was a weird idea that didn't work out as well as I thought it would. Let's just move on. Now, remember when I told you about that 48 hour cookie clicker challenge, and how it was the only time challenge I've done at the time? Well, I decided that I wanted to do an even shorter time challenge, and join a 3 hour game creation competition, called a Tri Jam. Basically, a theme is announced, and a bunch of people make a game in only 3 hours, following that theme. These games are then rated on gameplay, visuals, audio, theme, and general enjoyment. The first time I competed in a 3 hour game competition, the game I made was not great, but over time, my game making skills continued to get better, and this was the last game that I submitted to the Tri Jam. Overall, I'm happy with how I did making a game in 3 hours, but I wanted to join a competition that lasted a little bit longer. And now, here we are, June 1st, 2024. My channel is officially 2 years old, and I'm celebrating by competing in a 10 day game creation competition. After a combined 40 hours of work on this game, I created my dream bullet hell game inspired by Enter the Gungeon, and I did amazing. And might I add, this is the best game I think I've ever made, by far. Even though I placed 200th out of 400 participants, I'm still very happy with how I did. Overall, I'm proud of my game development journey and the amount of progress I've made over the past 2 years. If you like this video, and want to see more like it, 
consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel because it really does help me out. And also consider joining the Discord channel in the description of the video if you want to join our community. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.